added, that's 11. So I keep, I cover my number as 11. Any 11 can be covered. The whole aim of the game now, it's the, uh, the whole aim of the game is to have four in a row, four in a line. The other person rolls the dice, they have number seven, they take another different color, um, B, and he covers, goes to seven. Again, it's the turn of the first player. He rolls the dice, number 10, oh, lucky one. I think that goes number 10. The second player plays, that's number 6 plus 4, that's 10 for him. So he prefers taking it, um, let's say this one. Either you can make it diagonal, it's in a straight line or sleeping. The first player rolls the dice again, that's number 6. So I prefer probably this line. Okay. And the last one probably number 4, we just missed it. That's number 4, so we either need 2, we need number 3, we can need number 5 for him, for him it's number 4 and he wins it. So the second one wins because he gets 4 in a row. This activity is all about making your child a teacher. Yes, your child a teacher. So what we do is, we, give, we roll the dice and give them a solution. Here the number is A. So now the solution is A and we need to form a problem for A. What can be the problem? I say, I have four friends over and each of them eating two slices of pizza. So the total in all, the pizza is needed, the slice of pizza is needed is four plus four, which is eight. A super fun way to teach subtraction to kids is, suppose I roll the dice, I have number two. How many I have to remove from this? Two, but I don't count and remove. I remove handful, I guess, and take it out. One, two, and three. How many more did I remove? One and two. I have one left. So I have removed one more than it. For more recipes, conversation, DIYs for kids, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from kidstoppress.com.